Hey, this is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens, and you're watching our YouTube channel, Puts Ponds. We are back here in Roseville, Michigan, but we are at a different location today. Today, we are at a location to, for a homeowner who loves water, and that's our kind of customer. So, I'm going to take you for a little tour around his backyard, then I'm going to show you what we're here to do. So, let's go. So, pulling up to the Cape Cod style house, automatically I see water little water uh, pool right here with a little fountain in it loves his gardens look at how beautiful these uh, flower pots are loves his annuals the papyrus sticking up in the top with the petunias just doing a filler here some bougainvillea right in through here really nice He's got his plant stand up with all of his pots and his arrangements in here. Some of these are tropical and they'll be brought in for the winter time. Then we go into the backyard and immediately you can hear water flowing. The sound of water, is, it's really captivating. But right here on the back porch, boom, you've got a lion's head with a self-contained water feature right there. Someone who really has a passion for gardening, loves the statuary, I love all his different plants, weeping white pine here, little arbor, that big statue in the back corner, little sitting area here, a raised sitting area over there, and I'm sure there's a story to every piece he's got here. I mean this is an old uh, piece of limestone that was carved out something school. Every way I turn just a new vista just to look out at. Really cool. Not a big fan of above ground pools because they usually just stick out but I love how he's done the grasses along here. It's got a weeping beach all the way in the back. I mean, this is just secluded. You would have no idea that this is in the middle of suburbia. It's just, you can hear the birds in the background. Now right here, he's got a little pavilion with a flagstone patio, actually paver patio. Love the elephant ears, how they just encroach on a sitting space. Love how the plants you know, the ginger and the hosta are touching and overlapping, different textures, different colors. How he's bringing tropicals out into the garden during the season. They don't have to stay indoors. Just has done a great job adding his own personal touches to this landscape. Love the blue bottles on re-rod with the cone flower and the landscape grasses right here. It doesn't get any better than that. It's just fun stuff. So let's go over to the pond, take a look at what our job is gonna be. So the homeowners had problems um, with this setup, leaking and holding water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in we're going to actually put a filter in up on top. We're going to put a Biofalls, the Signature Series Aquascapes uh, 2500. We're going to take this wall down here. We're going to rework all this. This is a secondary stream on the side. Um, it's time. The homeowner agrees that it's time. We're going to leave this side alone here, not do anything with it. He's got... Um, a skimmer over here. We're really not doing anything to that either. Um, the back wall, I'll go around the back here. This back wall is going to stay here. He's got cinder block, he's got um, flagstone retaining wall here. We don't want to encroach in a walkway. This grass, grass pathway that's right in through here, we don't want to encroach in that and taper it down. So sometimes the retaining wall is necessary. 
Now there's a couple pieces that the homeowner is going to work on when we're done just to kind of fill in where you can see right in through there um, that there is a cinder block showing so he'll take care of things like that but we're going to come in we're going to change up his waterfall we're going to make some magic so let's get going <laughs> All right, so got the existing stonework down, except for a couple pieces. Uh, I'm going to actually wait until the crew shows up to uh, give me a little bit of a hand on this. But um, I want to turn the camera around. I want to show you uh, the thought process and what, what went into this initial build. I've taken the, uh, the block wall that's all thrown over here. I've taken that all down. That was right here. The water was coming over it. And you could see the the last layer is actually right here this is a concrete product it absorbed water it crumbled it's not a sustainable item to use in a water feature here in michigan because anything that can absorb that water we you know we get freeze thaws when it freezes and there's water inside uh the, that concrete block pop it just boom it's not going to last could last a season this might have been here seven eight years i don't know all of the other stonework is down again there's a couple pieces here that i'm gonna have the guys help me take that off we're gonna sink a biofalls down in here hopefully there's no more surprises underneath there hopefully that the soils from the pond here were brought in here and put in between the cinder block retaining wall we're gonna elevate the biofalls just a little bit uh, so that way we get take advantage of all the uh, the height and those blocks will disappear once we elevate that and then some stonework can come in on the uh, inside of the liner I think we're gonna just come straight down with this what they had is it came over this big stone right that big stone was right here it came over the face of that but then that you can see that they also had a separate one separate waterfall that was heading this way and coming down that's gonna be abandoned we're gonna backfill that with uh, some soils um, small project we don't want to overthink it we want to have take advantage of the height couple drops twist turn goes in my catchphrases and we're gonna have it come down into the pond we're gonna peel this liner back see what's behind this section right in here so that way hopefully it's not a, a block retaining wall uh, behind that uh, once we do that we're going to lower that down a little bit. I don't want that sheer uh, waterfall coming down into that. We want to make it look as natural as possible. If you got any questions at this point, um, you know, definitely leave them in the comments below. Going to work on peeling that liner back and uh, having some more fun. All right, so Mr. Impatient here. I moved the larger stone out of the way, brought that liner forward. Of course, there's cinder block right in through here, and it's eight inches down. I could still get a nice drop if I remove one course of that. I'm going to discuss this with the homeowner as soon as he gets here, and that way uh, we'll have a plan of attack. That's going to tell me how high I can set my biofalls and we'll walk around here to the back. I'm going to suggest to the homeowner, he removes one layer of cinder block here to bring the height of this down a little bit, make it look a little bit more natural. Less chance of it actually falling because this is a dried stack. It's not mortared in or anything. Um, you can see that, you know, adjustments have to be made to this probably on an annual basis. Less maintenance for them. But if we bring that down just a little bit, we're going to be bringing it just a couple inches above that grade up and through there now i can set my biofalls just you know a little bit higher than that grade get a six inch drop out of that we're going to get a lot of sound that's going to come and fill in this whole space here it's going to come back over here towards the house we don't want anything too powerful in sound because then people have to talk over themselves when they're sitting here in this nice pavilion area you don't want that you don't want something that's drowning literally no pun intended drowning out the conversations you've got going on in an area like this that sound is going to be coming right in here and you can hear just in my voice 
how muffled it is because now I'm underneath the pavilion. So with that sound coming right through here, a couple people only a few feet away from each other, they're gonna be shouting at each other. It'll be like having the, the radio playing way too loud. It kinda drowns out your thoughts and doesn't allow you to actually, well, it doesn't allow me to think. Uh, the slightest distraction for me, it's not, uh, it's not a good thing. But anyhow, um, those are going to be my suggestions to him as soon as he comes here. I'm going to go grab a bite to eat, and then the guys should be here soon after. We'll discuss with the homeowner our plans, and then we'll come back and uh, let you know what, what our, our final plan is going to be. The birds are already ready. They missed their waterfall. All right, so we're here on day two in this Roseville project. We, uh, we had a lot of rain yesterday, so we decided to uh, pack it up. So today um, we're gonna finish up this uh, small waterfall rebuild. Turn the camera around, I'll show you. You're not gonna be able to see much, but we have existing piping that led from the skimmer. That's an inch and a quarter. What we did is we stepped it up to two inch so he can get max flow out of uh, the 2600 biofalls with his existing pump. Uh, we've got our underlayment in. We've got it stepped right now, so it's going to come out of the biofalls. It's going to drop about six, eight inches, another six inches, and then uh, potentially about four or five inches at the bottom one. So we will have a three tiered waterfall out of this one. We've got some really interesting stones that we're going to be using. And uh, you know what? Next time you see this, we'll have water flowing over it. All right, so we had the perfect day to work with. No rain for once here in southeastern Michigan. We are technically in East Point, Michigan. So if you haven't figured out by now all the times I mentioned Roseville, it is East Point, Michigan. So I'm gonna turn that camera around. Um, and of course we got weed whackers uh, next door making some uh, unpleasant sounds for us. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what magic we made here. So it's a little bit different look. Um, we did put the biofalls in there, so we do have biological filtration going on. The pond is a little dirty right now because that we, we were in there and we stirred things up a little bit. What's your take on this, Matt? Uh, looks a whole lot different, very natural, beautiful. You're loving it? Loving it. All right, that's our goal. So we appreciate you guys watching our videos and uh, if you have any comments, Leave them down below and we'll catch you on the next one. Make it a great day.